Laravel Sail, a local development environment built on top of Docker. In this video, I'm going to show you how you can use Laravel Sail for your local Laravel development. Okay, so I've been a big fan of Laravel Valet, but Laravel Sail allows you to leverage Docker, and there's just a bunch of other cool advantages that you can use with this local development environment. So what I'm gonna do, since I actually have Valet installed on my machine, is I need to stop Valet. So I can just say Valet stop, and this is kind of just a good thing to note because if you boot up your sale development, uh, it's gonna say that the port is blocked. Okay, so after I've done that, how about I just start things off at the very beginning and I create a new Laravel application. So I'm gonna say Laravel new, and as boring as that sounds, I'm just gonna call this project application. Okay, so after we've done that, we can then CD into our folder and we'll see our application here in front of us. So going to the documentation, you can check out laravel.com slash docs slash sale, and you can go through here and kind of just go through the steps that I'm gonna go through in this video. So the first step is we will want to require the Laravel sale composer package. So I'm just gonna go ahead and copy and paste that right there. And boom, we've just installed the package. Now we can go to PHP artisan sale install. And let's run that one. And it's going to ask us which services we would like to install. And for now, I'm just going to say zero. I just want to install MySQL. Okay, so jumping back over, we should now be able to run vendor bin sale up. And before doing this, you are going to need to have Docker installed on your machine. If I go ahead and type in docker v, and it's going to say command not found Docker. So what I'm going to do is do a simple search for install. Docker. And here I can say Docker desktop for Mac, download from Docker Hub, and we'll click on that one, and it's going to download. And I'll go ahead and just fast forward this video so you don't have to watch this thing download. And after that's downloaded, we can go ahead and open it up. And then it's going to ask us to drag this into our applications folder, and we'll go ahead and do that. Okay, and after we've copied that over, we can now go into our Applications folder and we'll see that we have the Docker desktop application. So we can go ahead and open this up. We're going to see that we have the Docker desktop running right here. And we'll also see that we have this new toolbar up here. And this is where we can start Docker and stop Docker. So it says that right now Docker is currently starting, so we'll just give that a second. Okay, and after we open that up, we'll see that Docker has been successfully started and we can actually just close out of the desktop application. Now you may need to open a new terminal window and if you run the command docker-v, you should now see that you have a Docker install and a Docker command line that you can use. So let's go ahead and go into our sites application folder and then we're going to run the command to boot up our sale Docker. Let's go back here and run this command right here. And if this is your first time running this command, it may take a little bit longer, just it has to download all of the Docker images. This will only happen the first time that you run the sale command. After that, each time you run it, it will boot up a lot faster. Okay, so it looks like I actually have something running on port 80, and I believe I do have like an Apache install, and if you have something running on port 80 as well, you need to figure out what that is and then kill it. Um, but actually I know if I run sudo apache ctl stop, I believe that should do it. And let me go ahead and run the sail up command again, and you'll see this time it's not going to take nearly as long to boot it up. Okay, so there we go. We see that we have our Laravel sale application up on our local host. So what I can do is I can just go ahead and go to local host. And you'll see that we have our Laravel application right here in front of us. So what I could also do is if I were to open up this Docker dashboard, I can see that I have an application running now. If I open this up, you can see that it has the application Laravel right there. So we can kind of see the log of that application. And we can also see that we have a MySQL image running as well. So just like that, we were able to set up a Laravel sale, and we have a fully functioning Laravel application on our machine that we can spin up and spin down by running sale up or sale down. So jumping back over to the docs, 
You can see that we can also run the sail up and we could also create an alias for this command. So I could copy this and then paste this into my Z shell file and then I can just run sail command and it will automatically run from there. And I may have to open up a new terminal window. And if I go into my sites application, I should be able to run sail up. And now it will boot up that Docker image. And then we can go to our local host again and see our application. Okay, so now we have the sail up and sail down command that we can do. You can also see that we're actually printing out all the stuff right here on the screen. And what we can do is we could actually run this in the background if we wanted to. So if we go back over to the docs, it says that we can run this command sail up dash D and the D stands for detached mode. We're going to run the command and then we're going to detach ourselves from that image. So let's go ahead and give that a try. Okay, so we'll run sail up dash D and it will start up that container and then it will close out. And now if we go back to our local host, we can see that the application is up. And we can also go to laravel.test and you'll see that we'll get here at the application as well. And you can configure all of this stuff inside of your Docker YAML file. Uh, there's more information here in the docs, but there's one more thing that I want to cover, and that is running commands inside of your Docker image. So you can see that you can execute PHP commands by running sail PHP dash version. Let's go ahead and test this out. So if we paste that in there, we can see that we're running PHP 8.0. And another cool thing that we can do is we can actually pretty much like SSHing into this machine, we can run sales shell. Let me see where this is at. Yeah, and then we can get directly into the command line for our Docker image. So you can kind of think of it just like a separate machine. So you have your local environment, like your Mac or your PC, and the Docker image is kind of like a, a virtual computer uh, that you can then SSH into, or in this case, you can run the sales shell command and then be directly in the CLI of the Docker image. So we just say sales shell, and bam, there we are inside of the image. I can list out the files, and we see that they all are right here. So uh, that's pretty much it. I think I'm just gonna end the video there. This was just a quick 101 on Laravel sale and how you can use it to set up a Docker image or a Docker environment for running Laravel applications. I hope you guys have a great day, and I hope you found this video useful and I will talk to you later.